I know I had a lot of opportunity to use it. <laughs> we need more vocal energy. In other words, project your lines. Yes. <laughs> Play to the last row. Please. We don't have microphones. You're not mic'd. Of course, that you didn't need that note. Did you give that note to some? And oh, God. Know? I mean, yeah. We had some of those people, you know. You know, you'd be like, what? This isn't film. <laughs> yeah, no! I mean, you know. Play it to the third balcony if we had a balcony, please. Let it out. <clears throat> Oh, there was one girl that was so bad, uh, I can't remember which production it was in. We had to give her a megaphone. We literally, Chambers was so, you know how he, he, would, he would make a virtue out of a necessity? And uh, uh, he would make a strength out of a, out of a weakness? He, 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 he just did a whole comic bit and gave, gave everybody megaphones, but it was because, so that we could hear where her lines, you know. Now that's resourceful, I love it. Very, he's very resourceful in terms... And of course, he always said, you know, that's what theater is. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's maximizing your limitations, taking advantage of your limitations, turning your limitations into uh, into strengths. Giving a character a megaphone because she, the actress, doesn't project. That's wonderful. It was hilarious, but it worked. Because he, he that made, must have been Pericles. It wasn't as you like it, was it? I, I think it was Pericles. Surely it was, because you would remember it otherwise. Remember, yeah, if you remember in the last scene, as you like it, because we were losing the light, he gave her. He did give everybody, everybody flashlights. You remember on that last scene where to to illuminate mm -hmm. the scene? <laughs> Same thing: a flashlight, a megaphone. Drew, you would have been amazed if you had seen the difference in the production between the second year and the first year. Now, the show wasn't nearly as good. Number one, it was not as good a play. There is nobody alive who knows anything about Shakespeare who considered who would consider Pericles as good a play as As You Like It. You know. Eddie? Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. <laughs> Vocal energy, and um, say I can I can put it out there. But uh, hey, come in, Eddie. No oh, is it? Yeah. Where's Julian? He better get out of that battle. There he is. There you are. Yeah, here I am. I called a doctor. I didn't steal the board. You know what he said? He says congratulations. That's what thanks a lot, Doc. <laughs> I appreciate you more than you did all right, Chuck. Huh? Oh, I guess Drew mowed you. I heard a lot more here cut. I gave Drew cut grass. <laughs> no, I don't think we've been cutting any grass. Oh, you haven't been cutting no grass. That must have been me. Yeah.